Welcome to this CK3 playthrough of Flanders, played by an actual Fleming. More on that later, just I need you to know that if you're looking for a guide on how to play Flanders, this is not it. If you are looking for somebody who's going to talk a million miles per hour, tell you all the exploits and show you the quickest way to do, you know, whatever, this is not going to be me because dirty secret. I actually only bought this game a couple of days ago and I just spent um, t way too many hours with none of sleeping, trying to get to grips with the game mechanics, watching loads of YouTube videos, and just basically learning how to play the game. So as we all know, this is a game that you will not learn in just a matter of days. And I intend this to be my first proper Iron Man, Iron Man enabled, start to finish playthrough of this game so no quitting whatever happens <laughs> let's see what happens now what about this uh fleming playing as flanders thing so here you can see i am selecting the duchy of flanders and the duchy of flanders is actually a part of west francia and this is very very fascinating part of history for me because i was actually born and raised here literally here this is where i am right now and i am about 15 to 30 minutes of driving away from this french town with about a million people these days called lille we call it Raisel. Uh, for long long times um this is a part of uh flanders where people spoke a form of dutch called flemish obviously and um as you can see we were always either part of the french empire or they tried to be part of it so Living here, being born and raised here in Flanders, let me just uh, start the game and then tell you more about this, why this is so fascinating for me. We have always been caught in between France and England and anybody else. And for a lot of us, this part of our history is very obscure. We don't really learn much about it in school. We have a couple of battles, uh, among which the Battle of the Golden Spurs, which was fought just right beside my house here. Uh, where we were being taught the national glory of how the Flemish peasants defeated the French knights in the field and took their golden spurs, blah, blah, blah. What they don't mention is that the French came back and whooped our asses a couple of years later. So why is this? Flanders was always quite a prosperous region. It's very highly developed in the early Middle Ages and later. And the specialty of Flanders has always been textiles. These texti textiles... Um, often needed quality wool which came from the english but of course the english and the french are always you know falling over each other so basically the rich flanders industrious flanders usually caught under the rule of the french usually in business with the english usually something messy happening and this year the year 867 this is the obscure, obscure start for us. And uh, it will be very fascinating for me as a Flemish person to actually play through this. And maybe it's nice and interesting for you guys to see, you know, how I identify the wider strategic goals and maybe even how I pronounce the names of all of these guys. So like this, I've seen some YouTubers try to pronounce it. I think I got ear cancer off of that. So this is Baudouin Odewakerzoom of Flanders. So. Baudouin, of course, his name, our last king named Baudouin, died in 1993. And Zoom basically meaning son. So hopefully I can point out some more stuff for you and then really just get stuck in, stuck in the game and take it where it goes. All right. So if you guys have any questions about Flanders, what's it like to live in Flanders, what I think about the history, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments and obviously if you see me make mistakes which i will make undoubtedly you feel free to give me like tips and advice or just your opinion in the comments now um there might be some occasional coughing i've been really really ill i'll try to minimize it but i do apologize in advance now before we unpause here let's let's have like a wider look at the strategic situation identify some goals and then uh, work my way through our family and um, set up the scene because that's what this first episode is going to be all about setting up the scene i'm going to try to keep these episodes to about 
maybe max half an hour each so you guys can enjoy it on a lunch break or maybe before bed this is my first cuff coming up <coughs> i am so sorry i know this is disgusting all right so we are caught in between these great powers undoubtedly they'll try to come through undoubtedly the scandinavians will be sending down ships trying to raid us and we will try to survive all of it as best as we can while trying to pursue this is my personal goal for this trying to pursue becoming an independent nation in control of the wider dutch speaking area how i'm going to do this i do not know yet but that would be my goal being an independent nation highly developed controlling roughly the netherlands and belgium now what do i have to do this i am duke bodwin graf bodwin and i am a weird man <laughs> i am a fortune builder which is very good loads of good stewardship i am chaste so increased learning i don't know what learning has to do with not wanting to have sex but maybe he has more time and energy but that's good extra piety catholic opinion i am generous which gives me a boost to my diplomacy uh, slightly reduced income and then i am deceitful i like to lie and deceive it is in my nature cool so i am married to prince judith of west francia who is a brilliant strategist who is an aggressive attacker wow she's cynical ambitious and brave this is all not too bad this is actually quite nice quite good now i am obviously part of west francia which is being ruled by king charles the bald and he does not like me very much because i'm a different culture than him and I am a deceitful person now this different culture thing guys this is a clue this is like i'm not trying gonna try not to bore you too much with the history lesson but here france uh flanders which is you know dutch speaking you know and then even hundreds and hundreds of years later after napoleon when all of these dutch speaking regions were combined into one kingdom it all fell apart and this is because we have been so heavily intertwined with the French and the French elites, and we are still feeling it even to this day. Let me know if you want to know more. All right, so back to the game, because that's what you guys want to see. I have a couple of children, three sons and one daughter. And the first thing I want to check is, are they being educated? All right, so my heir is being educated by me, which is fine. Stewardship is always good um let's look at her education first then my second son let's give him a different guardian let's uh put our wife in charge so he can learn a different set of skills our third son let's um also have him be educated by somebody else okay this bishop here he is very, very, very good at learning. This is probably honestly what I would like to have for my son himself. Because I would like my son. Where is it? Remove guardian. I would like my son to um, focus on learning because learning advances innovation advances development blah 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 I've, I've noticed that this is probably very very underrated very underrated um, lifestyle that's it lifestyle people tend not to choose it because it's uh, it's not sexy I guess okay so let's leave it that way and then our daughter I apologize profusely. Um, <clears throat> our daughter is going to be educated by... I just... I don't think it really matters all that much with the daughters. I'm sorry, that's sexist, but that's probably the way it is. We're just going to leave it that way. 
And now, um, we will need to start to expand, of course. We will need to um, become stronger, become larger, and try not to fall apart. So how am I going to do this? I will probably not be able to start expanding into uh, Lotharingia. Lot yes, Lotharingen, as we would call it, straight away, because it's being ruled by a different king. It's going to be difficult, so I'm going to start expanding within our own realm first. And then the obvious candidate here is Amiens. And Amiens is quite nice, because if you look at the development here, eight, another eight, eight, eight again, really, really good. Because compared to what I have, five, 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 another five here, and then my capital is, come on eight so this duchy is the duchy yes and uh, no it's county uh, is way more developed than my places so this would be a good source of income and then if i look at um, my direct neighbors in lotharingen they also have a lower development so i think that would be a very very good place to start so i'm going to Have a look here at okay this is all fine and dandy um see if we can raise another knight here then later wow this is good gerrit has a prowess of 13 so we're going to recruit him to the court here's some gold gerrit i would like you to be my knight welcome and then we will need to use our bishop who does not endorse me so I'm going to try to get him to endorse me first, which is not going to be easy apparently, only 54% chance. Start the scheme, start swaying his opinion towards me, and then I would like him to start fabricating a claim on Amia. Thank you very much. <coughs> I don't think it's COVID, but I definitely had a very, very bad infection on my lungs. It'll pass. You guys will just have to stick with it. Apologize again. So my Chancellor has diplomacy skill of 21. That is amazing. And he is the guy in charge of Lille here, which current days is a city of 1 million people. Very, very nice. Then my Marshal Lodewijk is awful. Seven. That is dire. That is so bad. Hmm. Well... Let's try to stick with that for now, but it's going to have some bad effects. Spymaster 10, Count Rudolf, that's okay. And then Hervé, as my steward, stand, 10 stewardship is also all right. So this is not too bad. I haven't been dealt the worst hand here. It would be nice if uh, we could get a place on the council, council of our liege. I guess we'll just have to um, prove ourselves nicely. Um, court physician. Who do we have? Who do we have? He's a novice physician. But he does have the physician skill. Let's get a physician at least. There's, he's the only one. He's my guest, so um, he's not at the court yet. Walram. This is how we would pronounce it. Walram. Walram. I would like you to join my court and uh, to be my physician. So let's recruit him. There we go. Damn it, Walram, you cost a lot of money. You cost more <laughs> than the knight I just hired. Double, actually, to be honest. Uh, where is this court? Where is he? Walram. Walram, where are you, man? There he is. I would... I would like to appoint you as my court physician. There you go, Walram. Thanks. Take good care of us all. Maybe cure my cough. Maybe get me some snake poison, frog eyes. God, I would not have liked to have been at the grace of these guys at all. So I think that is about it for now. We're trying to get on the good side of our bishop here. So he is going to endorse me. Start to feed me some of that really nice clerical money. And we are <coughs> a 
constructing, fabricating our claim on the county of Amia. So let's unpause the game. Just like other children of his age, my son and Carl sometimes lies and tests our boundaries. However, he often avoids suspicion with a sweet demeanor and people always forgive him while he does get caught. I wonder how he gets away with it. So he gets the trait charming. Good, 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 good. I actually remembered seeing my son now is um in order to expand we are going to need some alliances and the best way to get alliances is to get marriages so let's see here who can we find in our area that's going to be good for my heir so let's try to find a good alliance sort these people by alliance power Gwynedd nope gonna keep my nose out of um out of the UK, Toulouse, Toulouse, oh my god, yes, look at this, massive duchy, very powerful, within the same realm, he is, she even has a claim on us, so we might even inherit it, so, Regilinde, Regilinde, and they will accept, perfect, please, tell your dad, I would like my son to marry you, very, very good. All right, let's see for my other kids here. Um, Baudouin? Let's try to find you a spouse. Also, we're going to focus on alliance power here. Angria, no. Klingenberg, I don't even know where that is. Pravia, sounds Italian. Trier. Hmm. Trier. It's relatively, relatively large-sized duchy within Lutharingen. Maybe. Let's keep you in mind. Nope. Nope. Ah. Woo. Ooh. Oh, I messed up. I should have scrolled down. This sh this should have been... <laughs> this should have been my wife. Claims on the, on the French court. Oh my god, I messed up. Well, let's see. Seven for my second son. Accept. See, this is how you can tell that I'm new at the game. <clears throat> Rudolf. Let's see here. Alliance power. Who might we arrange for you? Hmm. The no Innsbruck. Oh, a very nice place. I have some family in Innsbruck. Very, very meager place at the moment, this moment in history. Provence. Yeah. Yeah, might be okay. Hmm. Also in the wrong kingdom, actually. Nassau. Also relatively small. Where's this Oriel? Oriel. It's up in uh, England. Um, yeah. Nope. That's the guys we're gonna stab in the back. Vermondois. Yeah, no, maybe, yeah. Maybe we wanna grab it for ourselves. What is this? Lesbos. Lecce, okay, no, no, nope, nope, Mantua, stay out of Italy, long, you know what, actually, we're going to uh, not have this son marry for now, we're just going to keep it at that, keep our cards up our sleeve, and then our lifestyle, obviously, this is going to be stewardship, since we already have uh, nice bonuses for that, and I think I'm going to go on the duty focus because the, the bonds of loyalty that bind us do not constrict. They show the way. So it's focused on people. Um, you get a plus one stewardship, but most importantly, we get... Plus 20 opinion from courtiers. Is an unlanded character who serves a ruler in their court. Not too sure here. 
So 10% bonus to income is not going to do not... It's not going to do much on almost nothing. So 10% of nothing is almost nothing. Domain focus. Next to three, stewardship. No, that's... Let's stick with this. Let's have good relationships. Okay, done. I think that's it now. Let's see what else we have here. We can declare wars. No, that's just useless. I'm going to unpause and see what they say. Yes, Toulouse. Thank you. Welcome, my good ally. Look at this thing. It's massive. We have not had a reply from the... the King of Estrankia. Did he not respond yet? Did I not send the proposal? It's a highly strange, very odd. Nope, it's gone. I don't understand. I do not understand. Anyway, <clears throat> let's keep on going. We at least have this one powerful ally, which is quite nice. Really? Seriously? Well. Let's speed it up a little bit. It's like basically the only thing that's happening. And meanwhile, meantime, we're just going to try to find them another nice... Not too many options left. Nope. Barony of Marseille. This is puny. We're just gonna leave it at that. Princess Judith got pregnant. Way to go, Baudouin. So yeah, we're gonna save our heirs. See uh, if something better comes up later. It seems like all the good marriage partners have just been taken. Let's have a look at our military. <clears throat> so we have some good armored footmen, which is really quite nice. I'm trying to save up money here because we'll probably need a bribe to get this. Surf refugees. An influx of serfs have, has arrived in the county of Brugge from the neighboring county of Antwerpen. They claim to be fleeing from the abusive rule of Count Ansfried of Antwerpen and that they wish to live in my domain instead of his. Legally speaking, they are still in bondage to Ansfried but if I let them settle in my lands, it would be almost impossible for him to prove that they are actually his serfs. Good point. So what can I do here? I can return them to him and uh, curry his favor. I can actually uh, give this guy a rebuke. Nope. Well, maybe it's going to give me a ton of prestige. Or I can show them to my new farms which is going to uh, give Brugge an extra levy size and 15% taxes. Tough choices, tough choices. Actually, I'm going to go with this. I would like to have the prestige. <clears throat> this is going ahead quite nicely, but Seems to me I will probably not have enough money by the time it happens. I have a son. Wicher. What kind of name is that? This guy needs a Flemish name. Let's see here. Uh, so let's call him Peter. Peter is a Flemish name. And actually, he's medieval. Let's make it. Let's make it bigger. Let's call him Peter Jan. Peter Jan. It's like Peter John. And then let's look to his education. Peter Jan, I would like you to be educated in learning. There you go. <clears throat> 60 gold in the coffers, and this is almost ready. There we go. Ay, ay, ay. Jan is not swayed. I have prowled through documents, both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the county of Amiens. 
All that is missing is one little bribe. Probably for you, isn't it? Cheeky priest. Damn priest. You lose 81 coins. All right, then. We need this. See it done. And then we need to save up some extra money before we go to war so we do not go to war while we are in debt. Oh, nice. I do have his endorsement. Oh my god, Leviathan. <clears throat> It behooves a duke to spend time at sea, with the salty air in his face and a fine vessel beneath his feet. Today, sees my personal craft and a small escorting squadron out for drills, practice and pleasure. The short voyage has been an exhilarating change of pace from life at court, when we spot it. A distant plume of water, followed by a small island of wine, dark flesh rolling out of the waves. The greatest beast of all the deeps. A whale. All right, so what can we do this? Do this. We this is a prowess challenge. Get the harpoons. I don't think he, he has a lot. How, how's your prowess, my good friend? Um, nine average prowess. Okay, good to know. So we don't get you hurt. Um, we have a small chance of slaughtering it and getting a lot of <clears throat> money or losing prestige. Then this. Is going to give me stress, but let the other's handle it, just bring me the carcass. It gives me stress because I'm generous. A creature of fearsome majesty. Leave it. The whale goes free, and I lose 15 stress because I'm a generous person. Huh. Well, you know what? I just got the extra prestige. I can't really use the extra coin. So get the harpoons, and let's try to get it. The beast escapes you. You spend fifth. Oh, well, you know, serves me right. Should leave the whales alone. I don't think I've ever seen whales. And in... the only time I saw a whale was out here, Iceland. Took a whale tour, and then all I saw was some fins. Um, just okay. Letting time go by here. Let's time take by. So we get positive numbers. Your wife, Princess Judith, is bearing your child. Way to go again, Bodoin. I mean, she just gave birth and you knocked her up again? Damn, dog. Damn. She is pregnant. So what else do we know about her? She's a fearless atheist and she is a lesbian. This explains <laughs> this explains the martial stuff. Fearless atheist lesbian. I like her. All right, stewardship perk available. Let's see here. Um, centralization. Let's just unlock this tree. So, development growth in your capital is 0 0.03 per month. Yeah, let's go with that. And then finally, we have positive numbers. And we have a daughter. Welcome, Katrina. Welcome to the family. Please don't eat too much. You know, these are expensive times. So, Katrina, let's see to your education before I forget all about you until I need to marry you off as a peace cow. Or as an alliance cow. Um, at least let's get you educated. So, let's... Walram. Walram. Walram's a smart guy. Mastermind philosopher. Yeah, there we go. I send my proposal. So how's my how's my um, son doing? How can I check on his education? Um, no, that's fine. Still being educated. I don't know why I went paranoid about this. So, <clears throat> um, yeah. I am sorry, my dear friend. So, you are allied to Prince Karloman the Foolish of West Francia. Who is that? You have to be kidding me. Who is this guy? And why are you allied, allied to him? Okay, so... um. This fool, who's uh, disfigured, apparently, explains the mask. 
is in charge of the county of Berri, and they have a strain of 150 soldiers. They have a strain of 480, and I have a strain of 811. This should be fine. So I'm sorry, my good friend, well, you know, guy, no, because apparently we don't really like each other, Count Béranger, I'm going to declare war on you. And this is really good. I mean, their military strain is vastly inferior to ours. I'm going to refrain from calling allies because I just want to keep this relationship being positive and I don't want to spend the prestige. So, yep, I am going to do this. County of Amiens, let's try to get it. Oof, that's steep. All right, I declared war and actually, now I'm thinking of it since, you know, He's on my side, he's endorsing me. I actually want to build a better relationship with my massive ally out here. Um, so I'm going to try to sway him, which is apparently not going to be super easy. All right, I'm going to need to raise my armies. Apparently I'm going to be in charge myself. Let's see if there's a better commander. So, nope. Unfortunately, it seems that I am the most capable person around here. Which is uh, surprising, even in reality. Alright, let's unpause. There they go. They have been mustered. And we're going to send you out on your way to meet his forces. Oh, they're already retreating. That is smart, my guys. That is really smart. See here, we can call on our ally, yes, um, we will not do this, and actually, the enemy ally has joined forces. Come on, get him. Ugh. So, what are you going to do? You're gonna run circles? Go ahead, you go ahead, man. I'm just gonna besiege your um, city out here. He's, of course, he's going to link up with uh, 151. I should try to get him. I should try to get him before they link up. Fight them divided, come on. Oh, Jesus. Nope, that didn't work out. Guys, get back. Wanna keep our supplies good. And we're gonna go into the forest. Hopefully that's going to give us a defender's advantage. Once they eventually do come for us. Oh, I'm wondering. So 450, uh, it's going to be quite equal. Why are you guys not besieging? There's a, ugh. There we go. Oh, good. My liege won a war. What are they doing? Why are they all the way up north? Oh, they're gonna try to go for Bruges. I need to defeat their armies in the field. I messed up. I'm not strong enough. So, okay, you go. Go up north. You reinforce. And we're gonna try to get these guys. We have superior numbers. Wait for the month to tick by, so we are completely reinforced. Full of supplies. As a matter of fact, you know, let's just sit this one out for a bit. They are suffering attrition. Probably losing supplies, so let's just... I'm patient. Let's speed up the time a little bit. Let time go by. Another month. 619. 616. Yeah, it's not too bad. Hopefully they're losing a bunch of supply. Slow time, slow down time. That's enough. I don't want them to actually win the siege. And now I'm going to march on them. Equal battle. Let's see here what's happening. I have advantage. Our knight Walram wounded. Good way to go Walram. I like you man. Oh yes, we're wounding their knights. Victory, good, perfect. Pause. Um, 
empty council position. Your councillor Hervé died. Oh, he was slain during the battle. This is bad. This is why we shouldn't have really good... Like him. <laughs> we shouldn't have him on... Uh... Let's do something about it, actually. I think we can do something about it. Here. Let's find a new steward. So, our Count of Boulogne is a good steward. Yeah, we're going to assign you as a steward. And here, Hoopold. Let's look at our court. Uh, sorry, we're looking at knights. Where is he? Where is he, Hoopold? Look, dude, your prowess, your military skill is, is not all great. You're a great administrator. I'm going to forbid you to fight in my wars. That is right. You're no, not allowed. So let's see if we can... Um, here, Ambrose. Oh, that's so, he's so bad. Well, we're just going to go with one last night. We've just defeated his forces in the field. And I'm going to go have myself a siege. We've been going about for like half an hour. I think I'm going to call it here. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next episode. See how the siege goes.